today's topic is intellectual property rights so first of all what is intellectual property basically intellectual property is an idea it is a design concept or a manuscript concept or a manuscript which can ultimately give rise to a useful product but many a times it happens that the originator of this intellectual property he or she does not get the returns that he should get from his invention so in order to prevent this problem of copying of copying the intellectual property it is prevented by granting of intellectual property rights to prevent this problem so intellectual property rights if we define intellectual property rights we can define them as that these are the rights which are given to the original inventor or originator uh, by the government of the country in return of their invention as long as the return is not detrimental to the society the major forms of ipr are basically there are four major forms of intellectual property rights first is patents second is trade secret then it is plant breeder right that is in short it is pbr and fourth is uh, copyright so first of all we should talk about patents what are patents a patent is a right a patent is a right granted by the government to exclude others from manufacturing from imitating or selling the invention to the inventor basically if we are talking about patents so uh, there is a general requirement criteria that must be fulfilled by the commodity or uh, subject matter on which we are asking the patent the subject matter should fulfill f- uh, five requirements for the grant of patent these requirements are that is the subject matter must be novel that is novelty that is the subject matter on which you are claiming the patent it must be new second it must have industrial application the subject matter it must have some commercial importance it should be commercially important to the society then only we can ask for patent on the subject matter third is inventiveness the subject matter on which we are claiming patent it should have something new technolo- uh, basically uh, technologically that is it must have some inventiveness in it then only we can ask for patent on it and next is patentability the subject matter 
on which we are claiming patent is it must have been included in the list of the patents of that particular country that is in every country there are certain things that are not patentable like for example in india in case of plants and animals transgenic plants and animals they are not patentable so the subject matter on which we are asking for patentability it must have been included in the patentability list of the country and last is disclosure that is the patent holder he or she has to disclose his invention to the government while asking for the patent so that when when the time period of the patent gets over the commodity can be used by the government for society if we talk about patents in 1970 first time the indian patent act was given and in 2005 after uh, two or three amendments the finally which is active till date is 2005 amendment in 1970 the patents were given generally for 7 to 14 years but in 2000 after 2005 amendment the patents are given for around 20 years next we come to trade secrets trade secret is when the individual does not disclose the property to anyone and it keep its as a secret for his or her business interest that is the commodity for which we are asking trade secret it is not disclosed to anyone for example the formula of a product it is kept as a secret so that nobody else came to know the product the basic advantages in this case are that the trade secret is for unlimited duration of time and the cost of filing the application as we have to file in case of patents it is not here the complicated filing process is not here and the disadvantage with this technique is that when we are not disclosing the formula of the product to anyone then the chances of improving of the product are minimized or almost uh, very less and uh, if by the same time if anyone else produces a product very much similar to your product then you can't claim that he or she has imitated my product because under trade secret you are not disclosing the formula to anyone so if the product is manufactured by anyone else then he that product may be his or her own creation its example is formula of product example coca cola next is plant breeders right plant breeders rights these rights are related to the plants that is if a person a scientist a plant breeder he or she he develops a new variety by using some initial varieties then that particular variety comes under plant breeder right basically the protection for under plant breeder right is generally for 15 to 20 years and like patents for plant breeder right also there are some requirements which are to be fulfilled which are to be fulfilled then only we can claim for plant breeder right that is like first is novelty that is the plant on which you are claiming the plant breeder right that plant must be new second is distinctiveness by distinctiveness we mean that the new variety must be distinguishable from other varieties uh, morphologically physiologically or in some other characteristics that is the existing varieties 
and the new variety they should have some difference either morphologically or physiologically or in any other character then only you can claim for pbr third is uniformity that is the character on which you are claiming the pbr the character must be uniform in nature in all the plants under a specified area of environment in a given conditions suppose you have grown hundreds of plants in a particular area suppose we are talking about a particular plant which grows in dry uh, conditions so if we are planting that plant in thousand numbers in that particular dry condition then the trait must be uniformly present in all those hundred plants grown in that particular area that means uniformity and last is stability that is the trait on which the pbr holder is claiming right the trait must be stable in nature and it must be passed on from one generation to next generation of the plant so these are the basic requirements for claiming plant breeder right uh, internationally if we are talking about harmonization of the rules or laws of pbr then it is done through upov the full form of upov is international union for protection of new plant varieties and last is copyright copyright in copyright we are talking about that the person holding a copyright has the right to exclude others from reproducing the book it is generally uh, copyright is generally given for book or some musical or work like audio work visual so the person holding the copyright has the right to prevent others from imitating his or her work so this is the brief idea of intellectual property rights we talked about what is the intellectual property what are the main forms of intellectual property rights basically there are four forms and among them we talked about patents trade secrets pbr copyright talked about the requirements which are to be given for them and so uh, this is all today for intellectual property rights thank you